In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I used some welder's goggles and then modified them with some 3D printed parts to put LEDs and some special lenses in them. All right, to get started, I ended up printing a few test pieces. Now, the circle one was to test the diameter of the lenses, and the second part that's kind of a C shows the bracket that was holding the LEDs. Once I got everything all the right size, I put it all together with the Fresnel lenses in the goggles and then the LEDs in the brackets, everything lined up. I'm making these goggles because my wife is a physical therapist. She has a patient who she thinks has a neurological disorder. One of the ways to check is to put these goggles on the patient and then turn their head left and right. If their vestibular system is messed up and their eyes won't track just right. This is a closer look of the bracket that I printed to hold the LEDs. It's curved so it doesn't get in the way of the eye and it has a groove in it to hold the wires for the LEDs. Once I got the lenses and the LEDs all situated, then I had to figure out a way to mount the battery pack. The big lesson that I learned during this project is that when you're trying to print interference fit parts, that it's easier sometimes to print cross-sectional areas instead of the entire part. Here you see I printed three individual sections. Now the first one was way too loose, so I went back into the, my modeling software, tightened the dimensions a bit. The second one was still a little bit looser than I wanted, so then I printed a third and tightened those dimensions even more, and it fit really well. It was nice and snug. So once I got all those dimensions that I wanted just right, I went ahead and printed the entire bracket. So you can see here that I saved a lot of material and time by just printing the cross sections instead of printing a bunch of these full-size brackets that wouldn't work. Whenever I tell people that I have a 3D printer, they always ask the same question. Can you print anything useful or is it just dumb little trinkets? Well, I think this is a pretty good example showing that you can print really useful stuff. These goggles would have cost a lot more to go buy from a medical supply store. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I know this is a little bit different, but I just wanted to show you one of the projects I've been working on. If you have any other suggestions for projects, just please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks.